Welcome, mining enthusiasts and geology aficionados, to the MJ School of Mining and Geology. Today, we embark on a journey back in time, delving into the ancient art of fire assay, a method steeped in tradition, yet revered for its precision and accuracy in extracting precious metals from the earth. Fire assay, also known as cupellation, is a classical method for the quantitative determination of noble metals such as gold, silver, and platinum group metals, PGMs, in ores, concentrates, and bullion. It's a crucial technique because it provides highly accurate and precise results, making it the standard method for assaying precious metals for centuries. This process begins with sample preparation. A representative sample is obtained from the ore, concentrate, or bullion. This sample must accurately reflect the composition of the entire batch. The sample is finely ground to ensure homogeneity and to expose the precious metals for analysis. Fusion is the next step after sample preparation. The finely ground sample is mixed with a flux, typically a mixture of lead oxide, litharge, and a reducing agent such as borax or soda ash. The flux helps to facilitate the fusion of the sample and promote the separation of precious metals from other elements. The mixture is placed in a crucible and heated to high temperatures, typically around 1000 degrees Celsius to 1200 degrees Celsius, in a furnace. During fusion, the flux reacts with impurities in the sample, forming a slag that separates from the molten metal. After fusion, the molten metal, containing the precious metals, is poured into a porous cupel made of bone ash or other absorbent material. The cupel is placed in a cupellation furnace and heated to a high temperature, around 1000 degrees Celsius to 1200 degrees Celsius, in a controlled oxygen-rich atmosphere. Under these conditions, the lead oxide in the cupel reacts with any base metals present in the molten metal, forming lead oxide slag that is absorbed into the porous cupel. This process leaves behind a bead of precious metal, known as a prill, containing gold, silver, and PGMs. After cupellation, the precious metal bead, now freed from the lead and other impurities, remains in the cupel. To further purify and flatten the precious metal bead, it is typically removed from the cupel and placed on an anvil or similar surface. A hammer or mallet is then used to carefully hammer the bead, flattening it into a thin sheet or foil. This process helps to expose any remaining impurities and remove them from the surface of the precious metals. However, if gold and silver are present together in the prill, they can be separated through a process called parting. This involves treating the prill with nitric acid to dissolve the silver, leaving behind the gold. The dissolved silver is then precipitated from the solution using a reducing agent such as copper, forming silver chloride, which can be collected and weighed. The prill containing the precious metals is carefully weighed on a precision balance. The weight of the prill, along with any additional analytical data, such as the weight of the cupel, flux used, etc., is used to calculate the concentration of gold, silver, and PGMs in the original sample. In conclusion, fire assay is valued for its accuracy and precision, making it essential for determining the precious metal content in ores, concentrates, and bullion. Despite being a traditional method, it remains widely used alongside modern analytical techniques due to its reliability and established standards. Please subscribe to the channel for more fascinating insights into the world of mining and geology, until next time cheers.